right over there, somewhere in that direction. Vampyrum Spectrum, one of my favourite bats, we managed to catch one and radio tag it and find the roost. This is the first roost discovered in 30 years in Trinidad. That's how important this roost is. And it's only by understanding what these bats need can we understand how we can best conserve them. Vampyrum Spectrum is an apex predator. It's on the top of the food chain. It's like finding the jaguar in the bat world. And finding Vampyrum in spectrum in a forest means that the forest has a really healthy ecosystem, it has enough prey for, for them to eat. So we're hoping we can set up the night vision cameras and we're going to film the large hollow that's in this tree. I was still going to school doing A-level biology and I was enjoying it. I didn't see myself becoming a scientist at all because I couldn't see myself in a lab or anything like that but I love nature and I used to go out with the Field Naturalist Club and that's where I, my interest began. And then I started to look for, for different um, avenues where I could learn more. Uh, Merlin Tuttle had a bat conservation group, which I was aware of, so I contacted him. Okay, sometimes in order to find the bat, you have to get into some rather tight squeezes in a cave. And this is one of those. It's gonna take a little bit of doing to get through here, but on the other side, we're gonna find a lot of really cool bats. You're never too young or too old to be a scientist. I was always interested in nature, but what really did me in was in the fifth grade, a scientist came to my classroom and talked to us about his adventures out in the jungle studying small mammals. I thought, my, if, if people actually get paid to go out and have fun and adventures in the jungle, that's for me. So I decided right then I was gonna be a mammologist. And I started studying small mammals got my parents to take me to universities where there were professors that I could talk to and I would go in at 9, 10 years old with study specimens in hand and say I'm doing research on Dipodomi spectabilis. Uh, I got some questions I'd appreciate your answering and these guys were just blown away that a little kid was out doing science. I first got interested in bats when I was seven years old and I did a school project on bats. And that same summer, the deputy headmistress pulled me out of the classroom one day and asked if I could rescue a bat from the school kitchen or the school canteen. And really, she was asking me to rescue the dinner ladies because they were all screaming because of this little tiny bat flying around. And I managed to hold the bat at seven years old and then a couple of days later we released him and I was hooked ever since that moment. Hey, little guy. Male chiroderma. So I've dedicated or spent most of my adult life chasing bats, looking for bats, trying to conserve bats. And I'm completely self-taught. I didn't do a degree in science at all. I, um, I got a regular job and that regular job helped me to spend my time funding trips, coming out to the jungle and experiencing the life of bats. Okay, right here is a side passage just a short one where a whole lot of funnel ear bats live. They're really cute little guys. I'll be taking portraits of them later this evening. We don't want to disturb them too much right now. I'll just give you a glimpse into the edge of this room where you can see there are, in fact, a lot of bats. But we're going to stay out of there because that's their main nursery area and we don't want to cause them too much disturbance. Studying animals out in nature can be exceedingly fun, but you don't have to go get a PhD to do it. You can be a volunteer scientist just like the people the last couple of weeks have been doing for Trinibats. Most of these people have no background in science at all. They're just really curious, passionately curious, and they want to help nature and conservation. So they volunteer their time and they're having a great time. <laughs> I had no interest in becoming a, a, a scientist. I just loved nature, being in nature, learning about nature. And I actually wanted to work otherwise, doing other work, you know, and still be a sort of part-time scientist of my own. Yeah. 
you go, Malin. As Modus puts on this. Oh, vampire. That's pretty good. We're about to release a superstar. Yep, a little bat. A little big-eared bat that we caught right here in this location about five days ago. And she's been performing in my studio. She learned to come to my hand on call. She caught insects for us right in front of my camera. She's been absolutely superb. Now she gets to go back to the wild right where we caught her with a full stomach of mealworms. Here she is. Tiny little gal. Make sure her wings aren't sweaty or anything. Okay. Here she goes. <laughs> 